Hi, my name is Taryn at Dream Along with Taryn. Today, I'm trying to get back into the vlogging game on a more uh, regular schedule, let's say. So tonight we are going to Hollywood Studios and I figured why not just bring you guys along with me. So let's go. This is what we have on for today. We have on the Disney sweater, which I was hating at first and it's actually it's grown on me completely. I got this one in an extra large. So if you are around my size, then this is like a little bit of an oversized fit, which I love. I love this color. We did a little bit of like a green eyeshadow tonight. I wasn't sure how I was feeling, but I kind of like it. We have the new ears on. And then I have my Stony Clover fanny pack. And we have a red lip. Of course, we are wearing our Joe & Co. We have the Marley pearl necklace and then the studios necklace and then i'm just wearing my vans because why not i had boots on but i wore them to the mickey's very merry christmas party the other day and my feet hurt so we're going with comfy cash today don't mind the messy room let's go i also saw on one of the like blogger pages that the walt disney world vault collection 20th celebration t-shirt was out and they had like a little like sweatshirt long sleeve and they also had these sweatpants but i'm it's so picky with how my sweatpants and my sweatshirts fit i really like things oversized so i didn't want to get that one but now that they have the t-shirt i think i might get that one because i'm really into the vault collection like really into the vault collection so hopefully fingers crossed they have it I do believe it's my appointed duty to tell you when I'm feeling like Look, Woody is even wearing his little Christmas scarf. We're heading into Toy Story Land and the sky is so pretty. This is where the new restaurant is going to be. This is like my favorite time of the night to see because it's so pretty. And you honestly, these lights are always here in Toy Story Land, but you just don't notice them until Christmas time, I feel. They're so cute. Quite a lot of people. If you are wondering what it's like in November at Disney World, this is basically what the crowd levels will be. Let me pop the ride times up here right now so that you can see exactly what we're working with. The weather is like perfect right now. It's like kind of cool out, but not like super cold. And we're in Toy Story Land, and this is the first year that they've put the Christmas decorations back up. So you better believe that I'm out looking for my little ham cookie. I'm gonna go find him right now. I found him. Here he is. He's so cute. We made it over to Galaxy's Edge. I'm not taking as much front camera facing stuff because it's actually really dark out, but we just ordered from Docking Bay 7. I got the Yip Tip chicken with the mac and cheese, so I'll show you guys what that looks like in a few minutes. We're waiting on our mobile order right now. This is what it looks like while you're waiting. We're kind of just walking around right now waiting for it to be ready, but it is so pretty here at night. A lot of people in this area over by the Millennium Falcon like to take photo pass photos with their lightsabers. So when it starts to get dark, you can see a lot of people playing with their lightsabers, which is really cool. But look at that view. We are heading here to Docking Bay 7. The ship is parked right on top. Let's go inside. Order the chicken yip tip which looks like this. It comes with mac and cheese and broccoli. While it's bright, I just wanted to uh, come on here and say that I was corrected. It is not 
yip tip is <laughs> tip yip. And I've been saying it wrong this entire time. <laughs> I just ordered. <laughs> I just ordered one of my favorite things in all of Hollywood Studios, which is the Wookie cookie. It looks like this. I'm gonna cut, could put it right over his face. It looks like this, and it's super delicious. It's an oatmeal cookie sandwich with this like whipped topping on the inside. I also am trying this, which is the red velvet whoopie pie, I guess. Uh, and it's for the holiday menu, so we're gonna try that as well because I love red velvet. And both of those are located at Backlot Express, which is over by Star Tours. This is all that we have left of the Backlot. It's so sad. But this area is pretty, just no one goes back there because there's nothing but Muppets. And Pizza Rizzo is closed. So, it's okay? Yeah, and Chris just noted, out of all the music that you could play, why are we playing this music? So much sexy, funk, Christmas jazz, this is weird, synthy stuff. I don't know what this is, it just changed. I mean, maybe they heard you. This is not gonna <laughs> Quite busy in the back lot <laughs> express right now. Not many seats. This is where you pick up your mobile orders. And right now they are actually taking regular orders, but if you can see, there's a, quite a line. It's much easier to just do a mobile order at this point. All right, so we ordered the red velvet whoopie pie, and then we also got a Wookiee cookie. However, I've had many Wookiee cookies in the past, and this is not what they looked like. This one is very hard and kind of clunky, so I'm a little bit disappointed because I praise this thing a lot, and this is not what a typical Wookiee cookie looks like. These cookies are massive and huge, and they're on the harder side, so I'm a little bit disappointed in that one. I haven't tried it yet, but... Uh, this looks promising. I got a fork, so it'll be a little bit easier to eat because it has all this powdered sugar on it, but let's see how these taste. All right, first up, we are trying the Wookiee cookie. Cookie tastes the same. It's actually pretty soft. It's just a big bite and it like hurts. <laughs> Really good though. That one's coming home though. Put my ears back on. Feel weird without them. We got a fork for this guy. We're gonna try him. I am a sucker for a good whoopie pie. All right, this is the bite. All right. Thoughts. So I did not read what the ingredients were for this one. And this actually has a peppermint frosting filling, which was a, I should have known that that was gonna happen because it's holiday. Pretty good. There are some really annoying baseball players behind me. We're gonna ignore that. It has a peppermint filling on the inside and it's actually pretty good. I like peppermint, so I give this a seven and a half out of ten. The cake is super moist and, and it's not super dry. I like the powdered sugar on top. I love red velvet. I'm gonna eat a few more bites. I like the crunch of the sprinkles too, but I'll let you guys know in a few minutes if I still feel that way. I am still a little bit disappointed that the Wookiee cookie is so hard to bite into, but the flavors are spot on. All right, now it's Chris's turn to try the whoopee. It's soft, first of all. Oh, the peppermint thing is super weird. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like it. I don't not is like it. like it. toothpaste for you? It's just, yeah, it is very toothpaste-y. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not what I expect when I, like the way it I looks. I think it would have been better if you did the Christmas designs with the Christmas sprinkles and it was just a cream free, cream cheese frosting. Yeah. Like a traditional red velvet cake. Yeah, I'm not a, as big of a fan of them. I love peppermint, but not in this context. It's good though. I mean, if you like it, peppermint. What do you, what do you rate it out of 10? 
it was six. Oh, it's still pretty high. I it's gave still, it a seven and a half. It's still good, you know. I just. It's what do you give the Wookie cookie? cookie? Like an eight, nine. Ten? A ten? <laughs> you give it a ten. Okay, a ten. Sorry. You give it a it's ten. <laughs> I'd say we did a pretty good job on both of these. Um, definitely made for sharing. This one is pretty big. I ate like a quarter of it. And this one I ate the entire top part of it because the cookie is really thick. So it was kind of hurting my mouth to like chew it because it was just too big. But here's a little look at like the whipped cream on the inside. Both of them super yummy, but I mean, wookie cookie all day long, wookie cookie. So I'm not sure what rides we're actually gonna get on, if any, tonight, because a lot of them are down. Hollywood Tower Hotel just came back on, but Slinky Dog Dash went down, Rock and Roller Coaster went down, and so did one other. Slink, uh, Slinky Dog, Rock and Roller Coaster, I don't know. One, three of them went down. <laughs> I can't even remember. But yeah, so normally we, <laughs> we usually come to studios and go on like Star Tours because that's the only ride that is a walk-on almost every single time, that and Muppets, but we're not gonna go and sit through Muppets. We've done it a million times. Not that I don't love that show, I just don't need to sit through it again. But like Indiana Jones isn't going right now and we've already seen Fantasmic, so we don't need to do that. So I think we're just gonna really embrace all of the Christmas decor. We're gonna go walk down the streets and go see what we can find. We kind of scooted by that pretty quick when we first came in because the sun was setting and we were trying to get some photos and kind of get some of that blue sky in the background. But we're gonna go back and see all of the Christmas decor because those streets are my literal favorite. And maybe we'll go through a couple of the stores and see if they have some merchandise. Get dancing, do you? <laughs> we just finished, well I finished, my little dessert sure coma is. that I'm going to be in in a second with the sugar coma, but now we're heading over towards Gertie and we're going to go see the big Christmas tree that's in Echo Lake. Gertie feet, Gertie feet! check and see if they have that 20th anniversary shirt that I was looking for. We have Vans. A couple new Vans shirts. This one looks pretty new. They're so simple though. Have all of this vault stuff. I already have this one. So this one is still available for 15 years. So they have the long sleeve and they have the sweatpants, but they do not have the t-shirt. And that is what I was looking for, so dang it. One of my favorite displays is over by Brown Derby. It's right across from it. And it is these little porcelain baby girls with their little peppermint umbrellas. They're so stinking cute. I love all the vintage vibes of Hollywood Studios. I hope they never change this because it is so good. And I love it. You can see the Christmas tree in the background. Look at that. You can see it right there. These girls give you a good glow. They There's do. a lot of lights. Oh, the lights There's probably. a lot of lights in this section <laughs> and it just like lights you up just a little bit. It is nice. Now we're gonna go to, what's it called? Sunset Boulevard? I always get them mixed up with Universal. Yes, Sunset. Sunset Boulevard and Hollywood Boulevard are always like, my two I mess up. But we're gonna go head over to Sunset Boulevard and see the Christmas show on the tower. Not in front of the kiddo. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. So many lights. I love them. I love him. Uh, I love I love you. I love this street. How many times can I say love? I love it here. So I forgot that it's Snopes on this street. We're in for a treat, guys. It's not constant. But it does snope every time they do the little show. 
And I don't know if you can see it, but when I get up here, you'll definitely be able to see it. We're over by like where the Pandora store is right now, so we're gonna get a little bit closer to the tower and I'll show you guys where the snow comes out. Do you see it? Do you see it? It's coming out right there, it's blasting! It's snowing! I don't know if you can see this, but it's snowing in Florida. The best kind of snow, which is snow flying straight from the buildings. It makes it so much more magical and my cheeks hurt. My cheeks hurt from smiling. It's it's so cool to come here for Christmas time. I don't think you guys realize how cool it is during the Christmas time at a Disney park. It's It brings the magic back in so many different ways when you kind of lose it over the summer because of the, the rough crowds and whatnot, but this makes it worth it. So every so often there will be a little Christmas postcard that comes up on this little banner over here. And then there will be a show on the Tower Hotel. But right now it's a little hectic over here only because Fantasmic just opened last week and the line is still going pretty far back. So if you're looking to go see Fantasmic, you do have to line up pretty early. There are two showings of it right now. You can see the people coming out from the first show and going back into the park. So the ride lines are gonna fluctuate all over the place during this time. But just be aware that the stadium is huge and there's plenty of seating. So even if you are pretty far back on the street, there will still be a seat for you most likely. these back to back but we're embracing them right now so let's see which one is next Swedish chef yeah <laughs> I love this one I love him
We are in one of the shops on Sunset Boulevard and they have little dog shirts. I know Mason barely wears the one that I got him. He's got a very long torso, but they have doggy shirts and PJs and they also have this little spirit jersey that says happy holidays. They have some new dog toys. Oh, they have a couple spirit jerseys, this one too. And then they have this little Star Commander jacket, even for little baby pops. Nice big dog selection. Oh my goodness, they have a bed. If Mason was a little bit smaller, I would get him that. Look at how cute this is. A little dog mat. We have some bowls. We have dog collars and leashes. These are really cute. They even have a little portable pet bowl. Which actually might be something good to get. Look at how cute this is. Perfect for summertime for my baby. They have a ton of 50th merchandise still. So if you're looking for some fun stuff for Christmas, this castle is amazing. They also have some really cool puzzles. Like this one comes with four pieces. And then they have some fun things like the buses, since there's no Magical Express anymore. This is fun too. They also have these little gold figurine ornaments. I think. It they only come in these five for now. That's all I can see. But these are pretty cool too. And just something to commemorate your trip during the 50th. If you're into lounge fly bags, this one is $85, but the shape of it is actually pretty big and it holds a lot of stuff. And I just love that it's embroidered. I feel like this one's like a really good find. There are the cute character ones, but this one represents the 50th like perfectly. It has the little iridescent castle and everything like that. The tower, the train station, this little Mickey. And I just love that it's embroidered. It's got a little monorail too. So this is a brand new collection that just started. It comes in blue, purple, yellow, black, and white. I found a lot more at Disney Springs, but this one is actually yellow, if you can tell. And then this is the black backpack. They also have a smaller bag too, but there's like sweatpants and these are like thick. They have this really cool like embroidered Mickey on it. These are $59.99. They also have it in t-shirt versions too. And then there's a crop sweatshirt too. I don't know if they have it here, 
But this is basically, oh, here's the small bag. This is what the small bag looks like, which I think might be a purchase down the road because I really like this one. I feel like I'll use it a lot in the parks. This is what it looks like on. It's what they're trying to kind of showcase like guys and gals. I love the crop. I tried it on a couple times. I did not see that they had this purple collection. I feel like they're gonna start coming out with a lot more of these. It's so crazy that they already have so many colors and versions of it. It makes it really hard to choose. But I really like that they have sweatpant options. And it seems like they even have some women's crop top sweatshirt, uh, crop top t-shirts, which I didn't see at Disney Springs when we went the other day. But I'm either gonna get the purple, yellow, or the black. Hmm. There are a ton of really awesome Christmas things this year, but this is one of my favorites. It's the Spirit Jersey. It has like a sequined Mickey on it, and then the back looks like this, and it's just like a big sequined Walt Disney World. I'm not really a big fan of the ones that have the puffy lettering, but this one has sequins, and it's much lighter. And I just think the colors and the sparkles on it are really pretty. It's got some glitter detail. Spirit jerseys have gone up a little bit and they are $95 now. So a little bit of a splurge, but very cute as a little gift and memento for the holidays. So I am doing the Run Disney race and it is Donald and Daisy themed. So I actually just picked up this bag to be my bag for the race. And I'm gonna wear it as like a little fanny pack because it's Donald and it's literally a fanny pack. The other side has all of the ducks on it, but I think I'm gonna wear it like this and have that be the front of the bag and then I'm gonna try to find some like blue and red and white to represent Donald a little bit more or I might go the daisy route and then have Donald with me. So let me know down below which one I should go with. Should I go with the Donald and just do a whole Donald kind of bound or if I should be daisy and then have Donald with me. Let me know down below. This jacket has been super popular. It's pretty cool. I don't know how practical it is, but it is pretty cool. It's got a lot of the characters from the original kind of Mickey Mouse series. And this one is $89. But Chris and I are really into bomber jackets and I really liked this line. It has like the old, old, old school Mickey and Minnie. And then the back of it looks like this. And it is so cool. It's like a, like a Jersey kind of typical kind of jacket material we can't really buy ones like this because mason's hair gets stuck to it so bad but i do really like this look at these slippers this is the coolest thing ever and this bag these are so cool I'm thinking like my birthday, like this is a pink shirt for Valentine's Day. Are you kidding me? I love it. This is something that is new too. They have Love Your Melon now and they're selling it in the parks. So this is, this is new. This is super cute. They have like some princess ones, Monsters Inc, Mulan, and then this one. I think it's Buzz Lightyear. How cool. The Fantastic line still goes all the way back to this part of the street. But like I said, there probably will still be room for them in there because they haven't even begun to load them in yet. so much. I wish this was a fireworks show.
goodbye Hollywood Studios. It's been a really fun night. We didn't do anything, but we did a I lot of stuff. I mean, we got cookies and food. Man, we didn't great. go on any rides, which I mean, I have to get out of the mentality of like we didn't Good do anything. Year. We didn't go on rides. I'm not on vacation. Stop it. <laughs> we didn't do any rides, but we did have a lot of fun just hanging out and walking around and seeing the decorations. And honestly, just the vibe here is our favorite. So if you are uh, into this kind of thing, then you definitely have to come to Hollywood Studios and check it out. But thank you guys so much for following. If you like this video, then hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna put it right here. And also hit that bell so you can be notified every single time that I put out a brand new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I totally forgot to come on here and say that it's Mickey's birthday. Happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. I've totally forgot. It's also my brother's birthday and that's how I always remember. But happy birthday, Mickey. Thank you for uh, sharing all of your special magic with us today. We didn't get to see you, but we get to see you all the time. Happy birthday to our favorite superstar. That was a song they played in the 80s for Mickey's birthday. It was great. It was amazing. Look I used up. to do Master Size. Master Size. That was my favorite thing in the entire world, the gymnastics class was Master Size. So. We're Mickey, Mickey kids, at heart, forever, forever and ever. I know I ended the vlog, and these are like two bonus plus videos, but we don't remember where we parked. It's the post credit scene. The post credit credit scene, because I already did a post a post scene, so now this There's is like another two. one. There's one at the end. <sighs> Anyways, Disney has a part of the app now where you can put in where you park. Yeah, and it works Did like I do garbage. that? It works. Did I do like that? Robotics. No, I didn't do that. Instead, I decided to just rush in here and <laughs> and we did a whole It's a good it's a good boy. It's a good boy. He's training. He's, training. he's little. He's like a, he's an actual puppy. He's got he's big little. giant paws. He's, he's little and he's training. and he's snifferooning. He's super cute. When are they going to bring the trans back? <laughs> I need no stinking trams. I love the trams. Although I went on the tram yesterday at Animal Kingdom and it was freezing in the morning. Don't recommend it. Don't recommend going to going in the morning when it's cold. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna go find the car. We're gonna go find oh, the car. It's like all the way down the aisle. Too. It is. It's all the way down the aisle. But it's it's in like a closer aisle. That's true. Found the car in record time. Yeah. You know when when you park the car and you and he asked me, did you park in the front or the back? The only information I need. <laughs> and I said the front because when I was at Animal Kingdom, I parked in the front, which was yesterday. And in the morning. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not the same at all. And in the morning. I got out of my mind. I don't care what anyone says. It's Sorry. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> um, okay, so we found the car. Now we're heading home. Bye, Bye for real now. Bye, guys.